Hi there, Regina here. I am in one of my favorite shops, the Fresh Food Courtyard, here at the Plaza in Dungarvan with proprietor extraordinaire, Jimmy Burrows. Jimmy, how you doing? How are you doing, Regina? I'm great. Jimmy, how long are you in business? Yeah, we're coming in now to three and a half years, Regina. We opened up in, on uh, the 9th of December, 2017. So we're three and a half years now, just starting to um, try to build up a, a bit of a, a reputation for ourselves. Well, you have a fabulous reputation, and of course you have all these awards to prove it. Um, ten awards, did you tell me, Jimmy? Yeah, well, look, we've been very lucky over the last three and a half years. Uh, and we picked up uh, uh, overall butchery and uh, food hall of the year 2019 with uh, Butcher Excellence Ireland. And uh, we won um, another good award, Retail Excellence, with the Local Chamber Awards. Fabulous. We were delighted with that. But I suppose uh, we picked up the rest of them then through our products and that. So we, we, we were named in 2019 again. Uh, we won an award for Best Chicken Wings in Ireland. So that was a, a, a good one for us. And know. I can vouch for it. They're pretty tasty. Um, Jimmy, um, in terms of your products here, where do you source your meat and what other um, food, like I know what's here because I'm a regular, but for the purpose of everyone watching, can you just talk to us about your products, please? Yeah, well, I, I suppose uh, at the start, uh, the challenge we had, Regina, was to break that we're not just a butcher shop, you yeah. know, that we're actually more than a butcher, uh, that we're a food hall. Um, like, for example, we've three qualified chefs working for us, wow. you know, so we make everything in our kitchen inside and uh, from our homemade brown breads to our salads to our ready meals, everything is made on site. And I suppose that's what we were trying to get across, that it was a, a unique model where you had butchers, deli and a cafe all under the one roof, you know. Very good. And some of my own favourites are the meatballs. They're yeah, great exactly. and they're very handy. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, very good product. You know what I mean? They're Italian style uh, meatball and maybe we sell an awful lot of them. Again, they're all handmade, made in store by our butchers and uh, nice and convenient. Cook in 30 minutes. And where do you get your organic chickens from? Our organic chickens and free range then we have two suppliers. So then we buy them off of Rings in Kilkenny and then we have another guy called Billy Gray. I've been dealing with, with a, a lot of years in Rakhangan in Kildare. Very good. You know, so. Very good. And Check out this um, fantastic um, hanging fridge. Yeah, right, Dreyager, talk to me yeah, about yeah. that. Well, I suppose we we, we were very um, we we put in this chamber um, about eight months ago now, Regina, and uh, it has been a huge success for us. Uh, so what it does is it's a dry age salt ager. So what it do we can it allows us to mature the meat longer on the bone. So like we have beef now up to 40, 50 days before we take it off the bone to get a nice, yeah, exactly, good top quality strip lines or ribeye or good roast off of the bone. And it gives us that advantage then, you know, that when we put good beef into it, we can stand over it, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, and I can vouch for those steaks and they go particularly well, Jimmy, with the wine from the wine buff and Cass and Co here in Dungarvan. Right, yeah, they're, yeah. they're made for each they're, other. They're, they're a huge compliment. Of course yeah, they are. They they're are. a real dine-in steak. You know? uh, they are. So when I say products, I should really say produce. So, um, like, you know, talk to us very briefly about what else you can get in the shop. Well, I suppose, look, we, we PJ Corn, uh, PJ do the local honey there as well. So we do PJ's corn, we do McGrath's jam, Capo mm. Quinn. Yeah. We do Richard Gallivan's there, organic orange juices from Port Law. Yes. And we have uh, Mellory eggs, we have early bird eggs. So we're, we, we try to support as much local producers as we can. And just a nice little add on we got in now to complement them steaks uh, last week. We were doing the gourmet butters, which are made in Dunhill. Oh, I and saw them. And they're award winning yeah. butters, yeah. you know, yeah. wild garlic, you have. Um, uh, you have um, uh, salt and chilli, you know, some lovely flavours there, you know. So we'll have some photos here um, of the shop so people can get an idea of what they can buy. I love to order in as well. I order my food in advance and then it's ready for me to collect yeah, well, and we, it's, we, it's more efficient. We do. Look, look, to be fair, I suppose when the pandemic hit, we had to think fast on our feet yeah. and uh, we provide a good phone in and collect service. But now yeah. also we launched our website. So it's a click and collect service there as well also. Oh, you brilliant. Know what I mean? I'll have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And Jimmy, tell me, you've quite a lot of staff here and everybody is so nice. And yeah. I, I either ask for you or for Chris. And yeah, well, I suppose Chris is with me a long time. He's, yeah. he's my store manager and yeah. uh, he's a very good butcher. Excellent. Uh, and uh, look, I, I'm very, very fortunate to have the staff I have. Um, I have 10 staff in total. Uh, every one of them is good as each other, very loyal to the company and all here for the right reasons, you know. And it's a lovely, um, I have to say, little touch, you know, where the, the, the guys will carry your box of meat out to the car. It's, and I've seen you do that for other people as well. It's just, 
it's that little added value service. Yeah. Well, I suppose, Regina, when I was setting up uh, my own shop, I suppose, when I served my time as a young lad, going back a long time ago now, but like the traditional values are gone out of it, you know what I mean? That you, you looked after your customer, you brought it to their care, you helped them, you know, yeah. and we try to do that here, you know, so we're modern butchers with traditional values, you know. And the other thing I'd like to compliment you on is, and, and I didn't prep Jimmy as to what I was going to be saying here, but it's so clean. Yeah, well, that's a huge part of what we do. Uh, yeah. The lads think I'm a bit of a hygiene freak, all right? Yeah. But look, we, we, we like the, the, the concept of the shop was simple to shop, but very clean. And, and, and as you can see, it, uh, I think we get a lot of compliments on how clean the shop is. Yeah. Well, it's great. And in terms of the community, what does it mean to be in such a community here in Dungarvan for your business, Jimmy? Oh, well, over the last, like, we've seen a huge, since last March, when this pand pandemic hit first, like, people were so good to support small businesses and support local you know and I suppose without that I wouldn't be here I'd be very honest about that I, I, I'm a small retailer on the side of the street and you know we need the support of, of people to keep our footfall going you know and it's so important isn't it yeah, the shop and, local. and I think people have been brilliant, brilliant uh, and yeah. it has been on the top of everyone's cap there with the last 12 months to support the smaller shops and I think everyone in Dungarvan from the small cafes to, to, to uh, um, the restaurants that are trying to do takeaways, that they're all experiencing the same thing. People are very concerned about keeping the small operator going, you know. Very important. And tell me, how has business been, Jimmy? Well, for us, I suppose, it has been very good, Regina. Great. We've, we've benefited hugely from the pandemic. Uh, uh, because of the restaurants closed and people have to eat in on, on, uh, on the weekends and like say our steak trade now would have improved an awful lot as you said earlier a nice bottle of wine and a few steaks yeah. on a Saturday night and, yeah. and it has gone to that and people have learned to cook as well uh, and we also help that here you know we try to help people the best way to cook our steak or cook our roast or what have you we try just be more than just selling a product. I know? think you could teach people a lot about merchandising it's a really lovely customer experience from the moment you walk into the shop everything is very well presented easy to find easy to navigate you even have a coffee machine here well done on that merchandising jimmy yeah well i suppose look we we try to keep it simple and we keep the ranges we we like we like to have a big range but at a unit price so people know what they're spending so we have a huge two for 10 range as an example. So if someone wants to come in and get four products for 20 euro or two for 10, they know what they're spending. And it's easy to easy. It's an easy shop to shop, to be I'm fair. Sure I know, I always get the meatball bargains. <laughs> <That's> it, <yeah. laughs> I'm a sucker for the meatballs. <laughs> yeah, they are nice to be fair. Um, yeah. Jimmy, I'd like to say thank you very much. I think we're very lucky in John Garvin to have right. the fresh food courtyard. Um, you have a great team here. And, and we'd like to wish you the very best, yeah. continued success. And don't forget everybody, shop local, share this post, spread the word, because it's so important to keep our community alive. Slonga fall.